Hi, I'm Alan Cylinder. And I'm his daughter, Chelsea Cylinder. We're Cylinder Cylinder. And today we're here to talk about Peter Pan and Wendy. This is a new Disney movie, and it stars Jude Law as Captain Hook. And it also stars as Wendy, Ever Anderson, and as Peter, Alexander Maloney. Yes, this is the latest adaptation of Peter Pan. It's completely live action. Pretty much dead action, actually. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> it kind of goes into more depth about the characters and their backstories. I mean, it is the story of Peter Pan just with more, I guess. Love more it. is often less. Yeah, I did not love this movie. My main problem with it is that there's no fun in this movie. It's like a serious drama, a serious yeah. adaptation yeah, of Peter heavy Pan. Drama. Yeah, <laughs> and it doesn't have any fun really and Peter Pan is fun I mean Captain Hook is a fun Disney villain not in this movie no not in this movie he's very serious everyone's very serious it's directed by David Lowry an indie director who's an odd choice for this kind of film but I thought maybe could make an interesting film and I guess in some ways you could say it's an interesting film I just don't think that this kind of revisionist Peter Pan makes for anything remotely resembling entertainment yeah, I would also add that it's just not very compelling, and I don't know if that's because I've just seen this story done 100,000 times. Too many times. And the animated Disney movie is just better. Way better. Yeah, way better. It also has songs, <laughs> so that helps. But I don't know, I just did not find this to be very interesting. I did like the final scene before the epilogue. I liked that conclusion. I thought I like it was that. nice, yeah. and I thought it was a really nice wrap-up to the movie. I wish the whole thing had that kind of feel about it. Jude Law acts as if he's in Hamlet in this film, and the only person I actually really liked in the film was the girl playing Wendy, who turns out in real life is the daughter of Mila Jovovich, and her father is Paul W.S. Anderson, who's a film director. Not a very good one, but a film director. <laughs> Nevertheless, she is very good, I thought. I thought all the kids were actually pretty good. They were pretty believable as the lost children. The actress playing Tinkerbell must have really been hungry because she does nothing but chew up that scene. I right. disagree with that. Tinkerbell is very dramatic and over the top, and I thought she was totally fine. So she's supposed to chew the scenery like that. She is. She's Tinkerbell. She's very dramatic. There was a lot of Tinkerbell plot that was left out of this movie. Why? If we're giving story to everybody else, why is there no I don't Tinkerbell storyline, which actually is in all of the other adaptations. Tinkerbell deserved more. Also, the title Peter Pan and Wendy is a little misleading because it's really Wendy and everybody else. I don't agree with that. I thought this It's was... really much more about Wendy. I don't think that's true. Wendy's a huge part of the normal story, too, the regular story. But in this, she's the story. She is, but it's still Peter Pan. Yeah, he's there. I think it's fine. That didn't bother me. I will say, for all the complaints about this, this is not a terribly made movie. Even though it's not terribly made, but it's terrible to sit through. <laughs> anyway, this is currently streaming on Disney Plus, and I would give this movie two cylinders. I would also give this movie two cylinders. Peter Pan and Wendy. This is Alan Cylinder. And Chelsea Cylinder. Saying, see you with the movies. Bye.